I'm scooting my last kilometers, and I can hardly wait to get to my destination. In this heat wave, all I can think of is the final stretch. But time's running short, and Germany's southernmost point seems almost unreachable. Once again, I take a break before I hopefully reach the Halbenwanger Egg, Germany's southernmost tip. But now, let's hurry! I've knocked off 2,485 clicks since my start on Zilt, and now I'm in Oberstdorf in Bavaria. I'm just 20 kilometers from Haldenwanger Eck, but it's almost 2,000 meters up. Here in Oberstdorf, I noticed a very unusual vehicle. It's called the Public Disorder Office. And this is the disorder officer, Peter Kees, who's a man on a mission in his mobile office. What does the disorder office do? The disorder office monitors citizens who are too orderly. Mm -hmm. And these are the tickets it issues. There are some for parking properly, using zebra crossings, or crossing when the light's green. With his conceptual art project, Peter Kays is using the same weapons as the Office of Public Order, whose duties include dealing with parking violations. But here is the shock for the Public Disorder Office. A federal survey showed that Germans aren't even that conformist. One in three people on the road ignores the regulations. Great. Life is wild and... Uh, disorder. And disorder. <laughs> But the Public Order Office fights ruthlessly for order, and in some towns it does a thorough job. Take Offenbach in the state of Hessen, for instance. Every vehicle there gets an average of 1.27 parking tickets a year, a German record. In all, German towns earn an estimated 450 million euros a year from parking and speeding tickets. Is, that Is the disorder office unnecessary? I don't think so. Artistic interventions always help keep social processes on track and change them, so the disorder office is important. Okay. Let's see how much disorder we can bring to the town. Yes, we will see. Time for us to issue a few tickets to passers-by. We decide this one's too orderly and conformist. That's a 71 euro fine. Bizarrely, our victim seems to agree with us. <laughs> 20 euros for this woman. And the couple on the bench get a 10 euro fine. They actually thank us. And here we have over orderly washing hanging on the line. That certainly won't do. We give the family a choice pay up or mess up the laundry a bit, and they obey. I ask another victim if he's going to make an effort to be less orderly in the future. He says he'll do his best, though he can't promise, but that he's learned his lesson and thinks he'll improve. That's what I like to hear. A bit of disorder never really hurt anyone, otherwise life would be too boring. I'm off to the home stretch in the Bavarian Alps. If I want to reach my destination in 80 days, I have to start climbing those mountains today.